use some brake cleaner clean off the upper oil pan here I already cleaned it once but I'm gonna hit it again twice there's a little bit of black silicone residue not very much I even took a flathead screwdriver and dug through it again just to be safe but I'm gonna hit it again with this to clean the surface off and then I'm gonna run a bead of Toyota silicone around the whole thing or Toyota FIPG so I'll do that here real quick and speed it up Gonna take some Toyota FIPG here, 103. Um, as you can see, it makes it pretty simple. For oil pan camshaft housing, professional use only. I'm no goddamn professional by any stretch of the means, but this is what everyone recommends. Um, since it has been sitting out, this is probably gonna be, that's actually still kind of wet. I used this the other day and I forgot to clap it off, so I'm gonna use this and poke a hole through it. It says three to four millimeters wide the whole way around. So you start here and then kick it around here, go around, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start. go ahead and put the cams in now um, I've kind of been holding off on this because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing and I had some friends help me so the first thing I made sure to do is that it's not hundred percent at TDC so I put it at the TDC and then brought it slightly below that across all the cylinders just because I'm not sure if this is going to be interference or not technically the Brian Crower cams I'm putting in are 272s and they are non interference cams but just to be safe I've lowered it just slightly just so I don't have that issue uh, what I'm gonna do next is 
put assembly lube, which see if you guys can see here, use this assembly lube to install the cams. So I'm gonna put it on all the lobes and on the actual cam caps themselves and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and go through the process here. I've lubed everything up now, I'll put the caps on. I haven't put the front cap on yet, I'll get to that in a second. So next is I gotta uniformly tighten everything down. Technically per the Toyota book, it says just to do cap number three and then cap number seven, but I'm gonna do across the board because these are aftermarket cams and I don't wanna take a chance of snapping them. I've heard about people doing that. That's another reason why I'm recording all this because just in case they do snap and it's not my fault, I wanna be shown that, all right, I didn't cause this, it snapped for unknown reason so i'm recording all this for that also not just to show you guys so uh next up is recording everything getting them tightened down next guys it also says for the threads of these bolts it says to lightly coat them in oil so i'm just going to get the very tip just the tip of it in oil here and put these back in okay guys now what i gotta do is start from the center and work myself out and put these cams in them Stupid nervous about this, but I hope this works and hope this goes the way it's supposed to. Well, I guess we'll see. Ta-da! First cam's on. Now I gotta turn it and check clearances on it. So that's next up. By the way, my friend Nathan's here right now. He's a faggot. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A he drives a Mustang. So he actually, hold on one second. It into my house today, and uh, yeah, look, he even pulled it in, guys. Is this straight, or is it just like him, a little sideways, a little gay? Okay guys, I got the cams all in now. Got them cranked down. The, all the bolts are in 14 foot pounds right now. Went ahead and put the cam gear back on also. Um, I just have it just tight enough. I didn't crank it down to any certain foot pounds because I'm just using it right now to rotate the cams to check for clearances. Now another thing guys that I did do for this is that I marked one, two, three, four, the whole way up through 12 on the head itself with a Sharpie to indicate which valve or uh, which shim I was going over just for my sake and then I wrote it down on a piece of paper. So for my sake, I went ahead and did the first set. So let's see if I can go ahead and zoom in here for you guys real quick. All right, so I started doing the shims already. I went through it once. Please disregard my handwriting, it's horrible. Uh, with the Brian Crower cams, they have to be within 10 thousandths or whatever. I can't think of the mathematics right now, but it's too late. I'm doing this last minute and uh, I drank too much, but I'm going over through it too right now. Um, writing everything down and I'm going through it a second time to check clearances and I'm glad I am because now here I'm in the second time and I'm off by nine thousandths first, uh, ten thousandths on the first one. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'll probably have to check it a third time because my OCD won't allow for that. Anything that's off, I'm going to end up checking again. So anything that matches up, I'm not going to bother with, but anything that's off, I'm going to double check again. So write everything down, guys. I can't stress this enough. Write everything down and mark the head too to help you out. Don't don't think you're trying to skimp on anything. Try to write everything down you can. Also do yourself a favor and go to Advanced Auto or whatever your local auto parts store and get yourself a set of feeler gauges. Uh, for myself, I am just, I took it apart just because it makes it easier, but it usually comes like in a sleeve of them. Um, and it goes in like singular increment, increments. Ugh, sorry, man, I can't, I can't speak tonight. Increments, 
And uh, yeah, just makes it easier so when you're trying to gauge everything. So go out and buy yourself. They're like seven, eight bucks, cheap. This is eight thousandths right now. Uh, Brian, Crower Clam, Brian Crower Cam states that intake side needs to be within eight thousandths would be perfect. Exhaust side would be 10 thousandths. So I think we have plus or minus 0 0.001. So it's pretty tight tolerances. So I'm trying, I'm hoping everything's as close as possible. Um, from Toyota to get shim cam or to get shim, new shim buckets. Um, each shim comes in 2,000 increments, so yeah, uh, they give you a little bit of play, but not much. This side's done, everything's checked and clearanced. So I just need to take the cams back out of this side, order the new shims and put them back in and should be good. Now I have to check everything again, et cetera, et cetera, but yeah. So now to take this off, lube everything up and begin. So got the cams all in, everything's tightened down, and I got really lucky. If you guys, I'm not sure if I have it in this video or one previous to it, I don't know, I guess you guys will find out when it's all said and done. Um, I torqued everything to spec, and I got very lucky. I ran everything over twice just to check clearances, just to be 100% sure, but everything was in, was in, eh, was within two thousandths um, of what spec need to be. I believe the Intake side need to be with uh, was eight thousandths was perfect and ten thousandths was perfect on the exhaust side and everything was within two thousandths uh, plus or minus so I didn't have to change up any and I mean any fucking shims so I'm a happy camper right now I don't have to stick with all that um, I do have to take the cam gears back off because I went ahead and put the belt on when I put the damper on and if you guys can see here. Doesn't want to go on too well with the cam gears on it. So I got to take the cam gears off and slip them all on as one piece. Didn't know that. Once again, I've never done any of this before. I'm learning as I go, reading the Toyota book I have here, relying on friends, people that have done this for many years. And uh, I've been very fortunate so far that everyone's very helpful. So next up is I'm actually gonna start putting an exhaust manifold back on and the intake manifold. So yeah, and I'm traveling new beer. You guys ever had Traveler's beer before? It's a little sweet, not usually my type of thing. I actually like a beer that tastes, that tastes like a beer. I guess that makes sense, right? So I like a beer beer, I guess. Whatever, yeah. Um, this is a little sweeter, but this shit's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Kinda like it, so you guys should try this sometime. Yeah. I am so happy that Toyota makes metal gaskets from the factory. It makes this so much easier. I don't have to do shit.
Ooh, that's gonna look nice when that's all done. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now for the unfun part of putting the exhaust manifold on. This thing just never goes on easy. I have to do it with it out of the car because man, in the car it's a nightmare. So, Ugh, I never ever look forward to doing this thing.